If you're familiar with AI automation, you probably heard of Make, an exceptional no-code automation tool with so many different possibilities for you to automate anything. Make empowers you to automate tasks, workflows, apps, and entire systems with ease with the help of AI. It's a powerful visual builder that allows you to drag and drop apps, which is going to enable the creation of a seamless workflow for complex processes without requiring any code. You can build and automate workflows quite effortlessly. You can solve problems across teams and business areas and optimize tasks with, with AI powered automation. It's going to let you design, build and automate infinite workflows visually, connecting apps with a simple drag and drop builder and watching data flows in real time. You have 2,149 results in all apps, meaning that you have so many different types of integrations that you can automate with from marketing all the way to education, to CRM and sales, and so many other options. Make will empower you to build like a developer without coding, using thousands of apps or custom APIs and no code toolkit for limitless workflow control. It will easily enable rapid creation, testing and deployment of workflows within minutes with effortless collaboration and no server management needed. And what we're going to be doing throughout today's video is utilizing this beautiful AI automation platform to help us automate various things and showcasing how you can actually do this yourself. So what I want you guys to do is actually follow through by signing up for Make by using the link in the description below, where you can actually get one month for free to access the pro plan, including 10,000 different operations. If you use that link, you can then follow through with the tutorial where I'm going to be automating and showcasing a lot of the features of Make. After you have signed up, you're going to be then sent over to the main dashboard of Make. This is where you're going to be able to view your teams. You're going to be also able to see and track all of your creations over here. But if you are to go over to Teams, the great thing with Make is that you're going to be able to invite other team members to help you collaborate on automations. Within scenarios, this is where you're going to be able to track various automations that you create. Templates are a way for you to easily adopt ready-made templates or creations to various automations. Meaning that say if you have something in mind that you would want to work with, such as generating ChatGPT completions from a Google Sheet Rose, you can easily click on this template. You can either start a guided setup or you can create a new scenario from the template. And from here, it will actually showcase how you can set this up. So in this case, you can easily just configure things like selecting your account by adding the connection. You can then integrate your API key and you can easily automate this scenario quite well by just easily accessing one of these templates. In the same manner, you can do this with various other things. So if there is an app that you want to automate, such as Discord or your Gmail, you can easily just search it up and you can see that there's going to be automations already made for that particular app from posting new me telegram messages onto discord to basically sending new youtube videos to discord for instant sharing you have so many different possibilities with so many different types of apps within the connections tab you're going to be able to easily manage all the different integrations that you have currently enabled or disabled within your scenarios within webhooks this is where you can enable real-time data transfer between applications, which will trigger actions automatically when a specific event occurs. These two different tabs are things that we will explore as we start creating our scenarios. Now, within Mores, you can manage your API keys. You can also manage devices, your data stores, the data structures, and custom apps that you can integrate within Make itself. Now, the thing with Make is that it makes this whole process of automating things quite easy. You can see that there's this button that says start guided setup. So in this case, you can just simply click on this and it will tell you step by step as to what you need to do. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and start off by adding the connection to my Typeform account. After you have connected your connection with Typeform, you can then go ahead and find the form ID within Typeform itself. So whatever Typeform you have already created, go ahead and select that. So we're going to go ahead and select the Q&A Typeform and we're going to click on continue. Now from here, it's going to choose where to start. You can have it so, so that it's going to start integrating this process from now on, from a specific date, or just all in general. Now I'm going to go ahead and do actually 
from now on because it's going to be easier for me to track. So let's go ahead and click OK. And now we're going to set up the integration for Google Sheets by just going ahead and creating a connection. So go ahead and click on this. So I've completed the setup for my Google Sheet account. And now I have now selected a Google Sheet as to where my Typeform responses will be sent to. So we can go ahead and then select the sheet name as well as which row or column you want to select. And then I can just go ahead and click on continue. And there we go. That was easy as that guys. We have this full process fully automated where it can go ahead and have Typeform responses then sent over to my Google Sheet. So I have a list of all the Typeforms that I have and who I need to contact. But then we're going to showcase how we can take this to another step. So now what we're going to be doing is testing this out. We're going to have all of these inputs then automated and placed into the spreadsheet. And this is all because of Make. So let's go test this out. I'm going to give out my name as LeBron. And I'm going to go ahead and provide an email address. So let's just make up something. LeBron at gmail.com. And then what I want to do is going to be a response of implementing AI. So we can just say implement AI into business. And then we can go ahead and click submit. And within a couple of seconds, we'll see the inputs being outputted to this Google Sheet. So you can see the name was outputted, the email address, as well as the cause. Now, this is just a really basic example of what you can automate with Make. You have a lot of other tools like saving this. You can have a scenario output where you can add multiple different scenarios. Now, one thing that I'm going to showcase next is that you can make this even better where you can add more modules. You can see that you have various other apps and you can also have the ability to even utilize ChatGPT to configure your responses and even generate a response back to the person who sent the query in. This is a process where you can have natural language generate a response with the ChatGPT model. And from here, you can have it so that you can add another node, which could be something like a Gmail node that will send the response back after collecting the response from the Google Sheet. So if we are to go all the way up and if we are to search for Gmail, we can then find the Gmail node and then we can place this in and we can have it so that we can select, create and send a new email. This is where you can configure the subject title or have AI within the node configure that. And that's how you can easily send out a full automation from Typeform inquiries all the way to Gmail. And just remember, it's not restricted to one modality. You have multiple different modalities that you can use within Make. In this case, you can see that it is utilizing OpenAI's Whisper model to transcribe audio. And we're going to then have it converted into text. And this is what you can actually do with Make with its different configuration nodes. But that's essentially it for today's video on Make. This is an ideal automation platform that utilizes AI in many ways. So I definitely recommend that you try it out. Use the link in the description below and sign up for Make. And this is where you'll get one month of free access to the pro plan, including 10,000 operations. So definitely recommend that you try this out because it's completely for free and you will be able to easily automate so many different things. So with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon as well as on Twitter so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell and like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the world of AI. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.